Hello. I don't know if this thing can hear me. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, good. Alright, so, yes, I finally got something to record my voice with. Not mine, it's my sister's, but moving on. Uh, as you can see, while I beat night, uh, night one off screen by, by accident while practicing, but that's not how we're going to roll here, so let's start a new game. Chicken man. Fucking creepy. That cupcake. I don't even want to know. Hope this thing hears me good. Because I'm not re recording this. If anything, I'll just add in captions later. God, I hate doing that. Alright. Um, not gonna mute the call. So, I've been doing some experimenting off screen. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? And, uh, uh I think I have a better idea of what to do. your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting Sweet career sky. path. Uh, now, I want you to yes, forget anything you good. may have heard about the old location. Night two. You know, uh, some people oh. still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh... That old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure you, Fastberry Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> so that this guy. <laughs> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now, I that wish. being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, yeah. You're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. What a uh, funny we switched best. him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly, he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Oh, uh, that bullshit. restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. That's some area that uh, we didn't know. And as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot thing you as an endoskeleton without its costume on and wanting to stuff you into the suit. So hey, we've this given is, you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. Oh, you can put it on any time and leave it on for as long as you want. Wait. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander okay. back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is the having the important here. modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a lot oh, of okay. And it's even though your flashlight can run out of power, the okay. building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the lights, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up, piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Alright, so what I've decided to do in my Let's Plays is, um, wow, I'm doing one of those. Oh, hey, rocking out. Um, anyways, I won't talk if I feel that there's something important that's being said. So, I probably won't be talking too much through the, through the dialogues in the beginning. And for some reason, a lot of people, great. A lot of people think that that's the that's the same guy from the first game. It is. It's the same voice actor, I believe, but it's definitely a different person. That other guy is dead, and I believe I think Scott confirmed it. Uh, Scott being the creator of the game, in case you were unaware. I'm gonna fully charge it in case Bonnie gets in. Still there. 
Freddy out? Yep, Freddy's out. Freaking lovely. Chica. Still there. Okay, good. Stay there, Chica. Oh, for the love of God. Uh, I don't believe this works. I think uh, the flash stun strategy might actually be the way to go with this one. Not entirely sure, it just might test the thing. Oh, great, now it's Freddy. Yeah, I think that the flash stun strategy works on him best because wearing the suit has not helped me in the past whatsoever. With Freddy, at least. I'm gonna wait as long as I can for winding up that music box. Okay, go. Because I hate that fucking marionette. I haven't actually seen him personally. I've only seen him on, uh, right. Markiplier's videos. Uh, yeah, I watch him. I tried to watch PewDiePie's videos to see if I could learn anything by watching them, but I don't know how, but after watching them, I think I became stupider. What well, more stupid. See? It's, it's, I really am. This video has killed my brain cells. And I'm sorry if that's been, if that offends you. Yeah, the thing is, the flash stun strategy, I believe it only works for the old marionettes, but it's never failed me with Freddy. That's not gonna work. Not even gonna work. Wait, did he sneak in? I can't tell. Was I too late? Did Freddy successfully sneak in? Hush. Well, one way to find out. Okay, good. He didn't sneak in. That's very good. Alright, so now I understand. I understand a little bit better now. Okay, we lived. Alright, uh, I'm gonna do my best to beat my two here as well, but as most of you know, that's when the Foxies and the old animatronics and Balloon Boy come out. So, fun times! Alright. Uh, hello? Hello? I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. Thank uh, you. By now, I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from the previous location, and we just use them for parts now. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? And the smell. Uh, uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction and make them super kid-friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around, but if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too, so whatever. Uh, I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh wait, Foxy. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always get disoriented with bright light. It would cause a system restart or something. Uh, come to think of it, you might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. It might hold him in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might carry it over to the newer models, too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest, I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking, and it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the Freddy mask will fool it, so just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Alright, so if you don't get what he said, he mentioned another puppet. That's the marionette. The one that comes out when the music box uh, stops playing. Oh, for the love of God. 
um, he also mentioned uh, how to stop Foxy. Him and the, the old, old and new Foxy can only be stopped by the flash stun strategy. So what I'm assuming is that all this time I've been talking out of my ass. And hello, Foxy. So yeah, I think that that doesn't even freaking. So that doesn't even work. It's just uh, all the new animatronics, but the new Foxy is a uh, uh, mask of the old animatronics, except for the new, except for the old Foxy. I swear to God, that's about balloon boy. I don't think I gave him a to Okay, so that doesn't work on him either, okay. But, what the last absolutely no idea what that is. I believe that's a as a after death mini game happens on occasion, especially to me. Uh, but that was uh, what my theory is that it sort of tells what happened between one and two. But not entirely sure until I've seen all of them. So uh, if anyone heard the high last time, that was this asshole. Balloon boy. Yes, that's his official name. Uh, so, I believe that... I don't know what works on the old Freddy Del, because I've never encountered him. As far as I know, like, old Freddy might also be the Freddy mask, but I don't know. I don't know if new Freddy's the Freddy mask, because obviously it didn't work that time. Unless he did manage to sneak in. You know, that's probably what it was. He probably managed to sneak in. I'm gonna bet a million bucks that's what it was. I was too late. I was too late. Alright, now, curious. Do they start moving him? Alright, not not those three. I'm not sure about old Foxy, though. Also, so in case you couldn't tell, the Foxy mechanics are very similar to how they were in the Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Except there you have to check on him constantly with Pirate's Cove. Here, when he's in the hallway, just check on him constantly by flashing the light to stun him and make him go away. Let's pot it! Balloon Boy's gone. Uh, you see, from what I've seen so far, Balloon Boy doesn't actually kill you. I'm probably dead wrong about that and talking out of my ass. Who knows? Uh, good for you. More experimentation definitely required, but as of right now, I have no idea whether he can actually kill you. From what I've seen, all he does is stall you and make it so you can't turn on the lights, and I don't know if you can use the camera or the Freddy mask while he's here. I just know you can't mess with the lights. Hello. So he can be a real pain in the ass if you're dealing with Foxy. You're in the vents, aren't you, little shit the brains? Can I just flash you and hope that works? No. Of course he's moving. So I just got home from school, I recorded this as soon as I could, Balloon Boy's probably already in, uh, in the room. There's gotta be a way to keep him out. Okay, so these still work, but if Foxy comes around. I guess all I can really do now is just... Not much I can do. Except wait it out. Cause I, 
I don't know if there's any way to actually make it <laughs> way other than just wait it out. Uh, so, like I said, I'm playing when I just got home from school. I tried to make, I tried my best to make this a dark environment. Unfortunately, that's not possible. I'll be recording later tonight and Friday. Uh, there will definitely be a lot of videos if this doesn't go up on Friday. Uh, but I do intend to beat night two by the end of this video. No matter how long it takes, we're only 15 and a half minutes in. And as for the average recording length, it's probably going to be... 20, 25 minutes, depending. Uh, I'm just gonna take, like, sit here for a second. I mean, they usually don't come out on day two too early. So, SCP Containment Breach. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that. It's a good idea. Uh, while I'm waiting for the animatronics to come out. All right. So, Containment Breach. What's going on with that? I will be uploading Containment Breach videos, you can bet your ass on that. The series is not dead, it's not cancelled, it's still going to happen, I'm just waiting until I find a... I'll be waiting until I find a, another suitable glitch, but I had another idea. What if, everybody knows who's ever played SCP Containment Breach, that there are achievements you can get in the game. Uh. At the end of the game, the end screen will tell you if you got them all. Now, my idea was maybe I could actually try to get all of them. And there's a catch. Playing on heater difficulty. Meaning one death. That's it. So, five of you out of six of you watching uh, think I'm absolutely insane. Good for you. But I'm very good at game. containment breach. Very good. Uh, I pretty much memorized the entire code, and I can read it back to you, except for anything involving 106, especially the pocket dimension, and SCP-860-2, because I have no idea what's up with those two. Uh, but I can. I'm incredible at that game, so it wouldn't be impossible given enough time for me to get all of the achievements on Keter mode while documenting any glitches that I encounter along the way. So that's what I was thinking and of course this will need more frequent more frequent containment breach videos as well. So if anyone's interested in actually watching this in the that then please go ahead leave a comment and I guess if at least one person says it says anything in the comments, uh, I'm gonna take that as a yes, I'm going to be, uh, starting up that project. Why well, aren't you a handsome devil? Alright, so that's pretty much, uh, everything I wanted to say on Containment Breach, for now at least. Uh, so... so you can't cancel out of this during the cutscene. But that would suck if the music box just ran out there. Cause you can't cancel out of this. I swear to god if that's you, boy. Hello. Wait, is this gonna be like boxing in Five Nights at Freddy's 1? We're flashing the light, uh, we're checking out him too often. We'll also screw you up. I hated that. It's like, check on him as much as you can. But you check on him too much and absolutely nothing freaking happens. I mean, uh, check on him too much and he still gets pissed and comes out. So I really hope that's not the case. Because I hated that mechanic. Especially when I attempt, uh, when I attempted 2020. Oh, I didn't attempt 2020, 2020, but I remember it was annoying as all hell. Like, just not even trying 2020 For the love of God, the bear. You know, what's the problem to mask now? What will that do? That accomplishes Jack and shit, and Jack left town. If the, for the two people out there who got this quote. Now what? 
Well, absolutely nothing changed. Thank you, Freddy, for wasting my time. You know, you're a horrible bear. Seriously, that's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Freaking balloon boy. I did it too late, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> I should have seen that one coming. Man, this is even longer one than anything screen in the first game. Also, see how it says press pull delete to reset all data? Um, I like that. You know, I'm probably the last person who would ever say this, but I want the achievements for this game, at least the Steam version. That's what I'm playing it on now. I'm playing on Steam. And honestly, I would like achievements for this game. Um, the only real reason being, when you're done with, I'm assuming there's also a 6th and 7th night. And if you're done with that, then congratulations, you're done with 5 nights of praise. <sighs> What's next? So achievements, I don't know, C, Golden Freddy, um... Uh, beat the game on, okay, not 2020, 2020, obviously, um, never use the Freddy mask once on night four or later, that'd be, uh, for the real completionists out there like me. I'm not really gonna do anything other than sit here until one o'clock, so, what are you guys up to? For the bot, for the six people watch, from the same six people from the four, from four who are actually watching this, uh, tell me if you do YouTube videos. I mean, uh, if you maybe make a let's play of a certain game I enjoy, I might check it out. I might even subscribe. Just be warned, I'm pretty damn picky with subscriptions. Been on YouTube for five years and I have five subscriptions. Actually, no, it's six now, isn't it? Yeah. Screw Attack, Screw Attack News, um, Cinemassacre, Game Theorists are the best, um, Marva Pan, and Nintendo. Also, if there's anyone out there who also, uh, let's plays Five Nights at Freddy's 2, um, Maybe I can watch your videos and analyze them, cause I thought you dare go on that freaking vent. With the proper analysis, we could uh, together figure out. Freaking kidding me! Together we can figure out how to be uh, better at the game. I mean, nobody really knows the old Freddy, uh, the what exactly triggers Balloon Boy if he could even be stopped. Nobody knows any of this yet, and uh, except maybe like two people out there who caught on film. And if you're one of those two people, please let me know. I want to watch your videos. I want to analyze, uh, and you can do the same with me. We could even uh, through video share uh, information. That is not out of the question by any means. I would actually rather enjoy that. You know, uh, we could put our different. If you don't like me, uh, we could put our differences aside us. For science, you monster. <laughs> yes, I do like that game. Actually, no, I freaking love that game. Not, I mean, it's probably not top five. No, that goes to Majora's Mask at five. No, Majora's Mask is at three. Right. Um, you know. Fine. Good for you. Uh, number five would be Mother. No. Number five would be. Damn. Wow. Actually, tougher 
than I thought it would be. Golden Eye 007, yeah. Uh, not a fan of FPS's at all, but damn, that game did something right. Four. 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 Um, Smash Bros. 3D. Oh, you know what? Five. Animal Crossing New Leaf. I can love that game. So, five. Animal Crossing New Leaf. Four, Smash Bros. 3D, uh, as of recording, the Wii U version has not come out yet. That's, uh, about a week from now, November 21st, I believe, definitely. Today is the 12th, so nine days. Friday, of course. I actually went to Smash Fest, and I pre-ordered the game, so I'm, uh, I'm actually gonna get that cool, rare golden coin, which is cool. Seven minutes in. All right. Uh, this is running on longer than I expected. So one more shot at this. All right. So number three would be Majora's Mask. Uh, Majora's Mask 3D is actually coming out this spring, which I am ecstatic over. It's my favorite Zelda game. Uh, so I really can't wait until Majora's Mask 3D this spring. I am definitely getting it launched, and I freaking hate the Europeans because they're getting a cool limited edition limited edition Majora's Mask pin and a bunch of other cool stuff and I want that stuff. Anyways, number two, Earthbound. Freaking love that game. Thank you, Shigesato Itoi. You are the man. Uh, number one, Mother 3. Freaking love Mother 3. Thank you, Tomato, for your incredible translations. And Reggie, I understand, but please, it needs a 3DS remake. If not, just Put it on the virtual console. No, actually not a remake, either a 3D or an HD remaster for uh, Wii U or 3DS respectively. I wouldn't mind either, but I'd prefer a 3D remaster on the 3DS because this game deserves it. Okay, it's controversial. I get it. Magipsies. Okay, I I love the Magipsies though. Everyone loves the Magipsies. They're cool. Uh, I'm I mean, sure they're. Uh, not exactly portrayed in the best light, considering that they're, uh, I guess you could call them bisexual, not really transgenders, but everyone loves the Magipsies except for, uh, spoilers from other three, Locria, freaking, freaking facade, hate facade, freaking bastard, he can burn in hell, just hash, but just, just screw facade. What he did to the monkey, he actually enjoyed what happened to him. I heard someone in defense. Hey, buddy. Like, how do you enjoy that? He liked it. <sighs> he said that he felt good. so much that I hate the song. Chica? 
Luca is not too aggressive from what I've heard. Hey, Foxy. Wait, did Chica sneak in? Crap, she might have. Oh, she didn't. She decided to be a dumbass and go the long way around. Freddy's there, I'm just gonna wind this up. You hear that? It's like static talking. I can't I can't make it out too much. Uh, I wasn't talking over it, so if you can't hear it, then your volume's too low. But that was freaking weird, man. Chica, are you actually gonna do something? Freddy, by the way. And I think that's the... I believe that's the marionette right there. Obviously, Bonnie, Chica, Freddy, and that's Bubble Boy. A balloon boy. Okay, so that's actually the whole crew. Wow. We got the whole crew, guys. The whole the gang's on. <laughs> she waits so long. This is running a bit long, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this, split this up. This is going to be the end of recording one. The recording two will go up tomorrow. Alright, so, with that said, see you on the flip side.